Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use these brand new glitter pixels from Nail Sugar by creating a really simple gel polish design. I'm using my Flexi Hand, which is available from nailcessities.co.uk. All the links will be in the description box below. So in my Flexi Hand, I have put some stiletto tips, which I am gonna cut down into a ballerina shape. I do love ballerina shaped nails. So I have gently filed off the ends just to smooth them out a bit. And I'm going to be using these Bellend gel polishes. Sounds like Bellend. <laughs> um, unfortunately, oh my gosh, as much as I would absolutely love some gel polishes like gel bottle ink, I can't afford them at the moment. So I'm using these cheaper ones. Um, I'm not a brand snob. And I am not cheeky enough to ask people to donate to me, so I am sticking with what I've got for now. <laughs> um, so on the thumb, I'm going in with the blue. The pointy finger, I'm going in with this really nice minty colour. On the middle finger, I'm going to do a vertical fade, or like a vertical ombre, whatever you want to call it. So on one side, I'm going in with the pink, and on the other side, I'm going to go in with the green. You'll see why in a minute, you'll see what I'm up to. Again, my ombre brush is just a cheapy ombre brush from AliExpress. Um, for now, it does the job. I would really like a more expensive one from, I think Crystal, no, I think the nail team do one. It might be a Crystal Nails one, I'm not sure. I would like one of those, but this one, uh, for now, it does the job. So the ring finger, I'm going in with the pink. And then again on the little finger, I'm going in with the blue. So you can see what I've done there. So I will cure those in the lamp. I think I cured them for 60 seconds. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop in a second coat. So I've done the other nails and I'm just going to show you how I do the ombre in the middle again. So I'm just literally putting another coat on. Doing exactly the same as I did the first time round. Taking my brush and just going over that middle line. Again the blend doesn't have to be perfect. So we've got our tacky layer now, the gel polish has been cured. This is one of the easiest things you can do um, with the gel polish design, is burnishing your glitter into the tacky layer. The Phantom Glitter Pixels, which have got like this blue tone to them, oh, these are amazing. They look completely different over black than what they do white. Um, if you are in the Nail Sugar group, um, I've put a video up of what they look like on each colour. So go and join search now sugar on facebook join the group and then you can have a look what they look like they are just amazing so i'm just patting and pressing the glitter onto the tacky layer of gel polish and then i am wiping off the excess once i'm happy i'm going to do the same thing on the pinky finger they look so nice sugared as well this is atomic so this you'll see has got like a green, a greeny look, but on black, it's got, I can't even remember. I wouldn't be able to tell you which color was which on, if you if you had the black and the white together, I wouldn't tell you, be able to tell you which glitter was which. They're like chameleon color shift kind of glitter. They are so, they're just lovely. I've totally fallen in love with them, but they won't work well with acrylic. Um, they kind of lose their, I haven't got, I had a glitter, acrylic, sorry, I had an acrylic nail that I'd done using these glitter pixels and they lost all their shine, all their sparkle in the acrylic. I don't know why, it's really bizarre because under top coat they look amazing, but in the acrylic they it just didn't work. So the Electra I am putting over the pink. And then brushing off the excess. 
So I tried to get the um, glitter off the fingers with my hard brush, but there was still loads of glitter left. So I went in and top coated using my CBD tempered top coat. And after this, I will go over with some nail cleanse and just wipe away the excess glitter. I don't know why I put way too much top coat on the thumb. So every time you dip your bottle back into your top coat, if you burnish glitters into a tacky layer, just make sure you haven't got any glitter stuck in your top coat brush. Um, I wipe onto a paper towel just to make sure that I don't contaminate my top coat that's in the bottle. So I've, um, what have I done? I've cured these for 60 seconds and I'm just taking off that excess glitter with some nail cleanse on a lint-free wipe. And that is the, the set finished. I mean, it's really simple and the glitter pixels look amazing over the tacky layer. Oh, I love them so much. Anyway, if you did like this video, please leave me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. Go and find the Nail Sugar Group on Facebook. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.